Cosmetic has always been very important for women, but makeup is becoming the new essential. Makeup is actually number one at the moment. It's like just as important as hair, if not even more important than hair. <laughs> you can't walk down the street without seeing somebody with makeup on, so no, it is definitely huge. It's a massive business for it. But where is it all started? Where makeup was born? Can go back as far as ancient Egypt, uh, Egyptians. It was massive there, and I think a lot of like a lot of stuff started in Egypt, didn't it? There's a lot of p pioneering that happened in Egypt, and makeup was definitely one of them. And you know, whenever people saw what they looked like, you know, they were seen as the most beautiful people in the world at the time. So people started trying to emulate that. People started trying to look like that. And then obviously as, as it develops, you know, the style of the makeup changed and um, it changed with the ages as we go along. Egyptians used to, they like to wear a lot of eyeliner for a lot of emphasis around the eyes. So they would use um, crushed beetles and some form of liquid. They would mix it up and then that's what they would get to get the eyeliner effect. Some of them used to use like berries to put on their lips to give them that red lipstick look when they haven't got it. The, the geishas, you know, to lighten the, the faces with a bit of blusher and the little petite lips and stuff like that. Like even now you see people doing these kind of things, they're going for the, like the geisha style look, you know. But look at Victorian times. They used to do crazy stuff. They used to put lead paint on their face, actual paint on their face. They would like cut out pieces of like, you know, different shapes and like, you know, stick them on their faces so they could have, um, they could cover up their smallpox scars, like just to get their skin really pale, really pale. Well, they thought it was more beautiful. Do you think that that was beautiful? No. But even till this day, some places in Africa they do that, and um, they put white powder on to look more lighter. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> It's a myth that makeup was simple because I, that, like the extreme example I've just given you of, you know, people using the lead paint and stuff like that. I wouldn't say that's simple. It might look like, oh yeah, she's just got a basic white face on or a, a bit of powder. But no, it was literally people going through a lot to look like they've not made a lot of effort, which I think is the same thing today. People will cake their faces to look like they're natural. Do you know what I mean? And I, I just, I just don't think it's ever been simple. I think that's just the trick of the makeup to make people think that I've not made much effort, but I've literally got eight tons of makeup on my face. So now people use it more, more into detail. Um, it started off with just enhancing your natural beauty. Oh, by the way, what about the new trend of the moment? Contouring. My favorite part of makeup <laughs> i actually do love it even when i'm doing the makeup that's my favorite part a lot of people think it started with kim kardashian but it didn't it started with drag queens they've been doing it for years because you know you've seen drag queen makeup they just use it to completely reshape their face so they do the strong cheeks they'll do you know the dark forehead and They'll do the super highlighted T-zone, like... Now, we've got a lot of celebrities that are on this kind of hype. And because the celebrities are on it, such as Kim Kardashian, um, Kylie Jenner. Yeah, Kylie Jenner. <laughs> All them people. Like, a lot of people are looking up to these um, celebrities. Contouring so has become like... Every customer is asking for contouring. Extreme contouring. The more contouring, the better. What's coverage? Well, coverage is just you, you get your light have your boot your air, can't even speak. Your light coverage, medium coverage, or like you know, a heavy coverage. It just basically means this is a full coverage, so coverage means you're covering your age. So I'm 16, I gotta look too. Dabbed and paint that bitch, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so 
makes sense. <laughs> I mean, the advantages are when you do it right, it does really shape your face. It does really highlight the eyes. Like, it does actually really give you a nice shape to the face. It gives you cheekbones. Um, it gives you smaller looking nose. You know, smaller forehead. Contouring, you can contour your body as well. So men nowadays, like even models, and they use contouring for abs to create abs. Oh yeah, the V lines as well. You know, like if a man does, he's got you know like a flat stomach, they can do like the V lines. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit deceiving when you want to touch it. You're like, oh, what's this? <laughs> it's like bye bye lines. <laughs> Contouring is just amazing. It's a great work of art. Up next, makeup addiction. There's a celebrity, I can't remember her name, and I wouldn't say it anyway. Um, she actually goes to bed with makeup. Like, she'll get up in the morning and do her face for the day, yeah, and then have a shower at night time, and then she'll put nighttime makeup on. So when she wakes up in the morning, she looks fresh. It's not okay <laughs> to sleep with your makeup on. No, that's really bad. Actually, yeah, there's people that actually sleep in makeup. So when they wake up in the morning, the man looks at them and be like, "Oh, my girl's girl, you know, gorgeous." <laughs> yeah. Yes, I've actually had f friends who were like that, who would not leave the house with no makeup on. We could be going down the road to go to the shops, and they're like, "No, just wait." And I'm like, "We're going down the road." So yeah, it, it is an addiction, it, it shows low self-esteem, it shows you're not confident with yourself, it shows that's the only thing you rely on, that is it, without makeup you know one, and it's not a good state to be in. Just, just believe in yourself, like, just look in the mirror, yeah, without your makeup and just think, yeah, I'm beautiful, and I don't care what these people think. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care if I ain't got loads of foundation up to here and, you know, shiny, shiny lips. At the end of the day, like, just just deal with what's inside first. Being addicted to makeup, it can be really bad, where you can't leave the house without putting your full face on. Not even a little bit, I mean full face. <laughs> Aging, spots, acne, um, rash on your skin. So yeah, it's just not good. It's not gonna be a good base anyway to put your makeup on because you're gonna have all that on your face. You might have ration spots and then you're still piling on the makeup. Doesn't make it any better, it just makes it worse really. This is your skin. You're gonna ruin your skin and you're gonna age. Makeup has just become an everyday thing. Um, it's become a part of every woman's life, really. Every young girl loves it as well. You can, you know, make yourself look creative. Uh, you can make yourself look different. Um, like, for instance, you can have your natural makeup for like everyday use, and then when you go out, you can just funk it up, put a bit of glitter on, just go to town with it. You've got so many diverse ways of using makeup. I think it's fun, and it's if you know if you're safe with it if you don't get too extreme i mean it's just so easy like damn bitch can i help you like what the fuck is you looking at bitch fuck loud bitches be mad all the time <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, you know, start injecting things into your face or start, you know, do you know what I mean? If you're safe with it and it makes you happy and it makes you feel confident, then I think makeup is a great thing. Makeup makes women fabulous. More fabulous. Makeup makes women more powerful. I think makeup has dominated women. I'm so sexy in my heels.